All right, welcome everyone. I am Lynn Lilly, a craft expert, and I do a lot of work with Crayola. So I'm really excited to be here to share a fun craft with Crayola today. So kiddos, who's excited and ready to craft? Our main thing that we're going to be using today is model magic. And I'm gonna show you how to make model magic animals two ways. So if you're going to be crafting along with us, Keep in mind, if you do need to repeat any steps or you need some extra time, you can always rewatch and you can ask us. And if we have time at the end, we can repeat some steps. All right, so our first way is going to be with rocks. Now, I'm not sure where you live, but hopefully it's warm enough to maybe get outside and find some rocks in your yard. And while we're talking about where you live, you can go ahead and post in the chat and tell us where you're watching from. And we'll do some shout outs in just a little bit. So if you're going to go out in your yard and find a rock, any rock will do, but if you can find a smooth one, that's great. Or you can also get rocks at Michael's. So there are some smooth rocks available if you want to buy a whole pack of them, but you can easily grab one outside. So we're going to start by making a model magic turtle. So we're going to use our rocks and we can either use either one. So when you look at your rock, you want to think about the animal that you're making. So I'm gonna look at my two rocks. And I think this one has a little bit more of the shape of what a turtle shell would look like. So we're gonna use this guy. All right, so we can switch to the top down camera so you can guys can get a full view of all of our supplies. All right, so we've got a rock. We're gonna be using Crayola acrylic paint. So if you um, are familiar with Crayola, there's washable paint and there's acrylic paint. So acrylic paint works best on rocks, but you can still use washable paint. You would just need to do a few coats. So what color are turtles? Typically they're green, right? And different shades of green. So we're gonna make a shade of green. We're gonna start with our blue because we know that blue and yellow make green. And then we're gonna use a little bit of our white to adjust the shade of our color. So once we've got our two blobs of paint on the plate, you can use a brush and mix them together. And you can see almost immediately that we start to get green, right? And then you can add blue, more yellow to adjust the color. Now I wanna lighten my green up a little bit. So if you do wanna get a little bit of a lighter shade, you can also add some white. So the possibilities are endless with the amount of different colors that you can make from that one pack of paint. So I wanna get a nice, fun, light green. You can also mix and get two different shades and switch up how you paint it. So maybe you actually paint a fun little pattern on the back of your rock. All right, once you're happy with the color, we're gonna go over to our rock and you can kind of wipe a little bit off on your brush. You can always save your paint colors that you make if you put them in an airtight container. So you'll see the acrylic paint works really, really well on our rocks. You really only have to do one coat. If you do use a washable, Crayola washable paint, you'll need to do about two coats, okay? So we paint our rock and you don't have to paint the bottom because we won't see the bottom. But if you really want to, you can wait for the top to dry, flip it over and paint the bottom. All right, so now we're gonna set our rock aside to dry and we're gonna get out our model magic. Now, if you've never used Model Magic before, it's pretty awesome. Thank you, Hope. All right, so Model Magic is a modeling clay, see that? And the fun part about Model Magic is that you can use it and create a fun project that will dry in the air, or you can put it back in an airtight container, like a zip top bag, and save it and play with it again and again. So for our turtle today, we're gonna be using a neon green and a yellow but it comes in all different size packs. So I wanna show this to you guys if you are gonna pick some up. So you can get a small pack like this, which this is the size of our packs. Oops, sorry, turn it the other way, thank you. Um, so these small packs come in the box right here. You can also get large packs. So Michael's has a whole setup of all different colors that you can get in these large packs as well. We're gonna get started with our green and our yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my yellow. And remember, you can always save the extra. So have an airtight, like a, a zip top bag that you would use at home. Have one of these handy so you can always put your extra in so it doesn't dry out. So while our rock is drying, 
we're going to make the parts of our turtle. Okay, I'm going to open this up. And for our turtle, we're going to start by making our turtle head. So I always usually start my model magic out by rolling it into a ball. So we want to pull off a little piece and we're going to roll it into a ball. All right, who has seen a real turtle? You can tell us in the chat, have you seen a real turtle? So what I did was I rolled it into a ball and then I pinched it in between my two fingers. So you can see it's a little flat, okay? So that is gonna be our head of our turtle. Next, we're gonna make our legs. So I'm gonna pinch off a larger section and then I wanna pinch off four pieces. And we want our pieces to be about the same size because we want all four of our turtle legs to be about the same size. Roll it into a ball. Rosanna, how am I doing on speed? Do I need to slow down or am I good? We're good. All right, so we get it into a ball and then we pinch it, okay? And that's gonna be one of our turtle legs. It can be his leg and his foot. We'll do that with our second one. Do we have some shout outs, Rosanna? Yeah, we have Madeline from Wisconsin. Hey, Madeline from Wisconsin. Emmanuel from Douglasville. Oh, Emmanuel from Douglasville. I'm in Atlanta, so we are close. Gail from Fort Collins, Colorado. Hey, Gail from Fort Collins, Colorado. And Jean from Lower Michigan. Hey, Jean from Lower Michigan. All right, kiddos and parents, if you haven't given us a shout in the chat and told us where you're watching from, please do. All right, so now our turtle also needs a tail. So we're gonna take off another little piece. Again, we start with it in a circle. And then we're gonna mold our tail. So I'm just gonna mold it by kind of pinching, and trying to elongate my piece, right? So we know that tails are a little bit pointy. So you wanna get it nice and pointy. And then once you've got your point on the opposite end, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pinch it, okay? So you get that little pinch and you'll see why we're doing those pinches in just a minute. All right, now that we've got those parts for our turtle, we need to make some decorations for the turtle shell. So we're gonna take our green and I'm gonna take just little pieces again and I'm gonna roll it in a ball. I always start with rolling in a ball. It's just easier to mold from there. And then I'm gonna smish it a little bit and mold it into somewhat of a triangle. Okay, so you guys can see that little shape. And we're gonna do a couple of these. And we want it to be relatively flat. So you guys can kind of see how flat that is. We're gonna make a couple of these. And if anyone pops in late, as a reminder, you guys, this will be posted on Michael's YouTube page and on the classes page on michaels.com in about 24 to 48 hours. So you guys can always rewatch any steps that you may have missed. Or if you plan to do it later, if you wanna come back and watch, you can. All right, so we're gonna make a few more of these guys. And if you wanna expedite the drying of your rock, you can always blow dry it if there's a parent handy or an adult that can blow dry it for you. Or if you're in an area right now where it's hot outside, you can put it outside to dry as well. We're here in Atlanta and it's pretty hot. So our rock would dry really fast outside. Okay. And we're gonna make one more. We smish it and then we form it into a triangle. Okay. Now that we've got all of our pieces, we're gonna come back. I do have a rock that's already dry. So yours may not be quite dry yet. So you may wanna hold on and finish this step afterwards if it's not dry. Now, you can try and smush your pieces directly to the rock, but I like to use some liquid glue just to make sure that it's extra stuck to my rock. So I'm using some of my Crayola washable liquid glue. I'm gonna start with my head, okay? So remember, there's that little tab. That's why we made the tab. We're gonna put a little bit of glue right there. And then we're gonna take our rock and we're gonna smush our head onto the bottom of our rock. And then you can kind of push your head up a little bit so our turtle's head is poking out. Okay, you see that? And then we're gonna do the same thing with our turtle legs. So we'll put a little drop of glue on there. And this glue does dry clear. You don't need a ton of it. 
Again, we're going to put our leg right there. Same thing with our other three ones. While I'm doing that, Rosina, do we have some people we could say hello to? Yeah, we have Jasmine from California. Hey, Jasmine from California. Macy from New Orleans, Louisiana. Hey, Macy from New Orleans, New Orleans, Louisiana. That is one of my favorite cities of all time. We have Amber from Orange County, California. Hey, Amber from Orange County, California. Aria from Florida. Hey, Aria from Florida. And Anya from San Jose, California. Hey, Anya from San Jose. Thanks for watching, friends. All right, so you see, we've got our turtle head, got our turtle leg. Now we gotta do the same thing with our tail. So remember, we have that little area we pinch on our tail to make sure it's extra pointed. Right, and put a little dot of glue there. Then we'll pop our tail on the end. Okay. Now we're going to decorate our shell. Remember, we did our little pieces. And so we're going to put just some small dots of glue on the back. And we'll lay these around. The points are going to go inward. And I'll hold it up closer to the camera in just a second. But you can maybe do as many of these as you want. Okay, so I'm going to slow down. Rosanna said to slow down. So I'll give you guys a second to catch up. All right, so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll slowly put some glue on here, right? And remember, if I am going a little too fast for you, we do have a certain amount of time that we've gotta get through and we're doing two fun projects today. So I wanna make sure that we get through them all. Um, so if we have time at the end, we can always repeat some steps. Um, or you can go back and reference this video once it is posted. All right, so we got our little turtle spots. Okay, now you want to let this dry. You want to let your model magic harden. And I've got another one over here that I did earlier. Um, so we'll put that guy there so you can kind of see him. He's Our model magic is nice and dry. You'll notice it gets a little firm. Now you can have some more fun with it. We've also got glitter glue. So if you have not heard of glitter glue before, um, it is my favorite as a parent um, because it's glitter and glue. My child loves glitter, but the glitter is locked in that glue. So it doesn't make a huge mess. So we're gonna grab one of our glitter glue sticks and on my little turtle that is dry, I'm gonna add, and I'll put this guy aside so he can dry right here. I'm gonna use my glitter glue and I'm gonna just add right on top of my Model Magic because it works really great on your Model Magic. I'm gonna add some glitter lines and I'm gonna bring this up to the camera so you guys can see it. Add a little glitter right there, a little glitter right there. And you could even do the glitter on the rock if you wanted. All right, so right there and there. How cool does that look guys? If you guys like this so far, give us a, Give us a, a, a what's up or a hello or tell us in the comments that you like it. We always like to see your feedback. Now, what we're missing for our turtle is we're missing a little face. So you can take a Crayola marker. So we've got our Crayola marker here and you can draw on your model magic. So it works best when your model magic is dry, which is why I switched over to my version that's dry. So if you guys are making this along with me, um, go ahead and do this step after your model magic is dry. So I did two little eyes. You guys can see right there. And then just a little smiley face because we have a happy turtle. How cute is that? All right, so we're gonna show you one more. This is gonna be an expedited process, but I wanted to give you um, some ideas on another type of model magic rock animal that you can make. So we're gonna put this model magic aside and I'm gonna grab a rock that I already painted. So I painted this one red with my Crayola acrylic paint. Now for this one, we're gonna be making a snail. So when I was out searching for rocks, I was looking for one that was round and that could stand. So we wanted to create this as the shell of our snail, okay? And so we're gonna make the body of our snail. We're gonna do it blue. Got one of my little packs here, open this up and we will make it blue. Now, there's also some other ways that we can decorate our shell. So I'm gonna get my model magic out and then show you how to decorate the shell. 
So who has heard of Crayola Project metallic markers? How cool are these, right? So we're gonna use our blue and I'm gonna show you, this leaves a really cool metallic. I like this for craft projects, but also school projects. So parents, if you're watching, as you're thinking about back to school, which will be here before we know it, this is a really cool supply to have at home for any of those school projects. So if you guys can tell through the camera that cool finish, it's very reflective. So that is the shell of our snail and it dries super quick. So we're gonna set it right there. Now to make the body of our snail, I always start with the circle. So I'm gonna roll it. And this is a little bit bigger of a piece that I pulled off because we need it to fit around the rock, okay? So we get it as close to a ball as we can. And then we're gonna flatten it, okay? And then we're gonna flatten it from this way too. And we're gonna try and make, it's gonna look like a U shape because we need a pocket for a rock to sit in, okay? And so you can start to see this almost already looks like a snail body. So at the top, we're gonna pinch our finger in this end right here and make two little ears for our snail. So snails have antennas, probably not ears, although I'm not a snail expert. We may have some kiddos that are snail experts on here. So that's gonna be the face. And then we're gonna make this part pointy for the tail, okay? Now you can take your rock while you're doing this and you can set it in there. So I'll do it to the side so you guys can kind of see to get an idea of if you've created a piece that's long enough, right? So we can kind of mold that. We wanna bring our head up a little bit, make a little more pointy antennas, we can. All right, and then when you're ready to go, you wanna make sure that it'll sit on the table so you kind of can smush it down. So the bottom gets flat, so it'll sit. And then we'll take some glue to just secure our rock in there. So pull our rock out, we'll put a little bit of glue right here. And then we'll put our rock back in, curl it back around and kind of work on forming our head again and our tail. Check it out. We've got a snail. How oh, fun. All right, so we just did a snail. We did a turtle. I'm gonna show you guys one other one that I did ahead of time, just to give you a little bit of inspiration. So I'm gonna set that guy there. I also did a fox earlier. So you can see there's so many possibilities. I wanna know which one is your favorite. So chat us and tell us which one is your favorite. Is it the fox? Is it the snail? Or is it the turtle? I think I like the turtle. I think the turtle's my favorite, but I'm excited to see what your favorite is. Rosanna will tell us what the tally is in just a second. All right, so that was the first way. We can switch back to the hosted camera for a second while I get set up for our second way that we're going to make model magic animals. All right, so I'll set these guys over here. We'll show them again at the end. But remember, you can shop all the products that I'm using today at Michael's. They're all Crayola products. Um, in my opinion, the best products for crafting with kiddos. And I know because I'm a mom and we craft a lot at my house. Um, all right, so we're gonna set our paints aside. And we are going, I'm gonna grab one of my bigger packets of Model Magic. So we're gonna make an ant for this one. Um, I don't know, ants are just cute, right? So they're kind of pesky, but they're still a little cute, especially when you make them into kind of a cartoon character. You're also gonna need a craft stick or a popsicle stick for this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and start, and you'll need some, we'll have some glue as well. Uh, all right, so go ahead and pull out a chunk. We can switch back to top down now. All right, so we'll get you back to the top down, perfect. Okay, so wanna make sure we have a good enough amount out. So we're using a tan for this, but keep in mind, you guys can use whatever colors you have at home. Um, use the things that I'm teaching you as inspiration. So we're gonna pull off three pieces. And we want to kind of make sure that our pieces are about the same size. So make sure they're somewhat of the same chunks. If it looks like you need to add more, you can. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to roll this guy one into a ball. Okay, and then once we get it a ball, we'll set it down and we're going to roll the second one into a ball. And I bet you can guess what we're going to do with the third. <laughs> 
All right, we're gonna roll our third one into a ball. All right, so then we're gonna take our popsicle stick and we are going to pick whichever one is gonna be the middle. So they should all be fairly the same. Um, we're going to take our popsicle stick, got it? Take your ball. And we're gonna put our popsicle stick right in that ball. We're gonna push it in. And it's okay if your ball gets a little misshapen while you're doing it. You can kind of reshape it as it's in there. Now, here's the thing. If you feel like your popsicle stick is not sticking in the way you want it to, you can always add a little bit of glue. So you can use that, that liquid glue again to make it secure. But that is what it looks like, okay? So you got our ball on there and it's not the, the same exact ball that it was, but that's okay. That's gonna be the body of our ant. Then we're gonna sit it back down in between those other two balls. And we're gonna press ball number one, which is gonna be our ant head. We're gonna push that right onto that body, keeping our stick in there. And then we're also going to take the third one, press it together. Are you guys starting to see the ant? Come in together. And you wanna just make sure that they're pressed together so that you could slightly pull it apart and you'll see that it's stuck. Model magic sticks really well together. So model magic to model magic works really well. No glue needed, sticks together. Now, you need a second color. So for this, I'm gonna use pink for this one. Any color you want will work. I'm gonna open up my packaging and we're gonna make our ant legs and antennas. So I'm just gonna pull off a little chunk of my pink. And remember, when you're done with your model magic, you don't wanna leave your bag open like this. You wanna put it in a zip top bag when you're done so that you can use it again and again. All right, so we're gonna pull off a bunch of little pieces. We're gonna do three legs on each side of our ant. So we're gonna pull off six little pieces. And we're also gonna need to make antennas, but we'll come back to those in just a second. All right, so we'll start by rolling it in a ball. And then once you've got your little ball, We'll take it between two fingers and roll it out. So we kind of snake roll it. You see what it looks like once it's snake rolled. And then we're just gonna slightly curve it, okay? So it gets a little bit of what looks like that L, L formation. We'll put it the right way. You guys see it looks like an L. All right, so we're gonna do that five more times. I'll show it to you again. We'll roll it. And then we roll it between our fingers to snake it out. All right, Rosanna, out of our first project, what was the phase? Um, it, you know, it was tied between the fox and the turtle. Tied between the fox and the turtle. I like it. I know that turtle is super cute. You guys can use this as a desk weight if you're doing a diorama for school or a summer project. That'd be pretty cool to put in there. I bet you'd get bonus points from your teacher. All right. And you want to make sure that your legs are somewhat equal. So if you need to pinch off any, you can. Remember, roll it in between, okay? Like that. All right, and then we've got two more. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna pinch off a little bit. That one looks like it's a little bit bigger. Let's pinch off a little bit. Rosanna, you wanna give me some shout outs while I'm finishing the last of my ant legs? Yeah, we have Natalie from Scottsdale, Arizona. Hey, Natalie from Scottsdale, Arizona. Addison from Maryland. Hey, Addison from Maryland. Lizzie from New Mexico. Hey, Lizzie from New Mexico. Sarah from Dallas. Hey, Sarah from Dallas. And Casey from Boone, Kentucky. Hey, Casey from Boone, Kentucky. Thanks for tuning in, friends. All right, so you see all of my legs here. So I should have six. You want to be careful to try and keep them away from each other so they don't stick to each other. So remember we said model magic, model magic sticks together. All right, so you've got all your little legs. You can see them all in my hands here. Now we're going to go back to our ant body. Put all of our legs down here. Go back to our, uh oh, uh oh. If they stick together, just pull it apart. If you need to kind of mold it back together, you can. It's really easy to mold. All right, so we're going to take our ant body and we're just going to press our legs on. Now I'm gonna do two legs on the main part of my body and then one on the back. I'm just gonna press those and we can kind of curl them as we go. Okay, so we'll curl, all right. And then once we got three over here, we'll flip and we'll do three on this side. So same thing, 
and make sure you put them in about the same place as you did on the other side. Oops, got my two stuck together. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put my biggest one on the back there. So if you got two that look a little bit bigger, you can put those on the back. So I feel like the ants would have bigger back legs. I'm totally making that up, but maybe. All right, so now you can see we've got our ant legs. Now we need antennas because every ant has antennas. I think that's how they might communicate with one another, right? I'm not a science teacher, but that's my best guess. All right, so we're gonna start and make our antennas. Again, we rolled here, I'll do that, I was looking fast. I'll do it in a ball. And then you can also snake roll in the palm of your hand as well, right? And I can roll out, if you get a piece that's long like that, you can use your fingers to break it into two pieces and then just kind of mold the end and you'll have two antennas, okay? That. And then on our antennas, we can do a little ball if we wanna put a ball on the end of our antenna. And we can do a tiny, tiny little ball. And then we stick that right on the end there, okay? So you see we've got a ball on our antenna and we'll do that on the second one. So teeny tiny little piece. That's why I always say save your scraps because you might do something like this where you need just tiny little pieces, okay? And then we put our ball on the end of our antenna. And now we're gonna attach our antennas by just pressing them onto our head of our ant. And then we can kind of mold our antennas how we want them to stand up. And then we'll press this guy on right here. And you want to make sure that you press it on so you know that it's stuck. And you can kind of make them, if you want to make them a little squiggly, you can. Okay, what's our, uh, what's our ant missing? What's he missing? Eyes. So we need to make some ant eyes. We're going to use our white. We'll open up a pack of white. And we'll make eyes. If you don't have white, you can always draw your eyes on. So we're gonna take two small bits, roll them into balls, and then we'll flatten them. Okay, and before you stick the first one on, take your second one so that you make sure they're about the same size. Okay. All right, so we'll hold them up next to each other. They look like they're about the same size. All right, so we're gonna take our ants and we'll put one off to the side right there. And then one right there. All right, so for our next step, we wanna wait for this to dry before we add some decoration and we draw in our eyes. So I went ahead of time and I did one. You can see this one has little red legs, right? And this guy is dry. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this marker handy. I'm using a take note permanent marker, but like I used on the last one, you can also use your um, regular Crayola marker as well. And I'm going to just draw my eyes right in there. And they're not perfect, but that's okay. So we draw two little eyes. And then we want to make a happy ant. So we're going to do a little smiley face. Little smiley face. How cute, right? Okay, we're not done yet. So we're going to use some glitter glue again. So we've got some glitter glue handy. I've got quite a few colors. You choose whatever color you want. We used green last time, so let's use blue this time. So I wanna pull the cap off. I always test my glitter glue, make sure it's flowing, yep. And then you can put some polka dots on here. Let's give our ant some spots with glitter glue. And this glitter glue will dry with dimension too. So you'll be able to see these raised spots, which is pretty cool. All right, we'll add a few more right there. All right, how cute is this ant? You guys like it? Fun. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a ladybug too, which we're also going to finish. When you're done with these, you can push them in. I've got some floral foam and you can push them into floral foam and put them in a cute little pot. We have our ladybug, which is on here. So let me pull off my ladybug. So you guys can see my ladybug, get her up close. So she needs some eyes. 
So we'll add some eyes. And I made her earlier, so she is dry. Just do a little dot right there. And then I'm gonna stick her back in here. But we can take some silver glitter glue and we'll add, oops, get a we'll add to her spots to add some silver glitter to them. All right, so that is model magic animals two ways. So how cute are these guys? We can switch back to the front camera. All right, friends, that was crafting. How much fun did you guys have? Um, let's remember what all we made. And I wanna know if you like the rock, the rock model magic animals better, or you like our cute little popsicle stick ones better. So make sure you chat us and tell us that. How cute are these? I love them. I'm so excited to put these on my desk and I know my daughter is gonna love to make this craft with me. All right, friends, you can always share your projects. Remember, there are a couple hashtags if you do share them. Hi guys, still drying. You can use hashtag make it with Michaels, hashtag Michaels classes, and of course, hashtag Crayola crafts. So I've had so much fun with you guys. If you wanna rewatch this, remember it'll be available in about 24 to 48 hours um, on the Michaels YouTube and also in the Michaels um, website and the classes section. And you can shop all of the amazing Crayola supplies at Michaels online or in store. Um, and I'm excited to see what you guys dream up. Rosanna, do we have any questions or anything last minute? Um, how long will it take for the model magic to dry? Yeah, just a few hours. Um, so this will dry depending on where you live. I said, let me preface that. If you live in an area where it's very humid, it could take overnight to dry. So keep that in mind. But in a normal, regular humidity um, climate, it'll um, harden in just a few hours. Any other questions? That's it. All right, you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much for crafting with me. I will see you again soon. And of course, you'll see me again on the Michaels and the Crayola Facebook page for Crafty Fun every week. All right, friends, have a wonderful day. Be kind, inspire someone. Bye, guys.